Welcome to my lecture online. Just to make sure we understand this unusual case, we'll do one more example. We have two division symbols here, and so what we need to do is work from left to right, and so this then can be written as 18 over 21 times the inverse of that, which is 33 over 8, times the inverse of that, which is 7 over 44. So you just go one at a time, change the division to multiplication, and then take in the inverse, not of everything that comes behind it, but only the next fraction. And that is how that's done. So now we can write that over single, and with a single numerator, 18 times 33 times 7 divided by 21 times 8 times 44. And now let's factor some of these terms as much as possible to make it easier. So 18 can be written as 2 times 9. 33 would be 3 times 11. And 7, well, we cannot make that any simpler than that. Divided by 21 would be uh, 3 times 7. 8, well, let's say we can write it as 2 times 4. And 44, that can be written as 4 times 11. Now let's have a little fun and simplify things as much as possible. The 11 is it straightforward. We have a 7 and a 7. That simplifies. Let's see here. We have a 2 and a 2. That simplifies. A 3 and a 3. That simplifies. And I think that's as far as I can go. So that means in the numerator we have a 9. In the denominator we have a 16. And that's then the simplified result of that initial expression. Again, if you don't follow the rules strictly there, you will not get the right answer. But that is how it's done.